All right, Oliver, here we are into video nine. This will be the build of the comm tower. And what I'm doing here is we're grabbing a, a drone probe core. This is gonna be an unmanned flight, so we need some sort of control. And then we're gonna get some steering authority. So I made, I built four gimbals there and I dropped in a couple small batteries and then some monopropellant tanks, small. Put a little hinge in there and a docking port. We're gonna add another docking port so we can build a rocket underneath it. And then I built the frame separately. And you just, uh, to slide it on down, you just hit the move tool grab the arrow and you have to press the shift key to drag it down that far while you drag it and then of course I was looking at the center of gravity so that everything would be stable when I was flying it the idea is that once it gets close to the surface of the moon you jettison the main fuel tank and use the RCS thrusters that are equipped there to bring you in for a nice soft landing on the wheels and then you kind of just motor on over to the docking port that our Kerbal engineer will mount on the moon and you dock it. You have an engineer Kerbal take the wheels off and then you just use the hinge to lift the tower straight up. Tall, there's not a lot of gravity on the moon. So I put all the extra RCS thrusters on there just in case the gravity was a little bit overbearing for the hinge motor, but <clears throat> I've done this on Minimus before and it was very easy to do. So I added that second drum core so that when you were in the landing mode up would be the opposite of where your wheels are so it'd be easier to fly so that you can land on the wheels and then of course we're going to use the biggest antenna now we're going to go ahead and build our our rocket i'm going to put some stability assist struts in there and a medium small size fuel tank and we will drop a fairing over it so it's aerodynamic on the way up out of the atmosphere be a big long fairing now we're just going to build a first and second stage to this rocket we see that our our final stage has 2,256 2, meters a second, which will be more than enough to get us on the moon. So now really what we need is about 3,000 to 3,300 3, meters per second of delta V to get us into Kerbin orbit. And then from there, we use the final stage with 2,200 meters a second to get us to the moon and landed on the moon. You can see in the process of building, you can uh, look at your staging on the right and see how much, how much delta V each stage has. Right now we have the vacuum tab open, so that's, that's the delta V amount once you're in orbit. And it looks like we have a little bit too much. So we're gonna drop down so 2,600 in the first stage, 700 in the second stage is enough to get us to Kerbin orbit. And then 2,200, since it doesn't require a return trip, 2,200 is more than enough to get us safely landed on the moon. Probably 25 to 40% too much, but we'll ride a little margin of safety there so that we can get out there and get the mission complete without having to, to start over. So the next episode will be the launch of this rocket. See you there.